Good morning, I'm David. And I'm Sophie. Today is March 5th, and it is a day three. Tonight is the opening night of the musical Cinderella, which Sophie and I are beyond excited for. I play Cinderella, David plays Prince Topher, so very big parts. And today we are going to be talking all about the musical after news and announcements. Wednesday morning, the U.S. conducted a drone-controlled airstrike against Taliban fighters in Afghanistan. These fighters were accused of attacking a National Defense and Security Forces checkpoint, according to the U.S. military. The strike was made after a fallout between President Trump and the Taliban chief negotiator. Yesterday, four people, including teenagers, were found dead in Reno, Nevada, after family and friends reported not seeing the couple and their children in several days. Identities of the bodies are being withheld until they can be confirmed. The deaths of the family seem to be an isolated incident, police say, and there is no threat to the community. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Senior Variety Show will be meeting after school today and tomorrow in room B44 with Mr. McSweeney and Mr. Russo. We will be getting the show rolling, so it is vital that you be there. Girls Spring Track will meet today at 3.30 in the Athletic Hall of Fame. All interested people should attend. March is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. White ribbons will be sold in the main lobby on each Friday morning in March. They will be $1 and all proceeds will go to support the Vera House. See Mrs. Mitigat in D1 if you missed the morning sales. Please support this worthy cause. So as Amber and Jack talked about yesterday, the story of Cinderella is a classic and one that has been told for hundreds of years. And this Spartan stage will tell the Cinderella story tonight. So the music is by classic Broadway stars Richard Rodgers and Oscar Hammerstein, and they also wrote music for The Sound of Music, among many other musicals. Uh, personally, I love the music in the show, and being able to sing these songs is just, it's a lot of fun. For me, my favorite part about being in this show is all of the costume changes that I have and all of the different scenes that I have. I basically interact with every single character in this show, and there's really never a dull moment for me. Yeah, for me too. And the run crew has really outdone themselves with the quick changes. They're, they do such a great job with that. And the show has a ton of moving parts and moving set pieces, and uh, nobody misses a beat. So it's, it's really great. And then the costumes in the show, they really stick out. So this is the first time that almost all of the costumes are rentals, so they're really something special. And there's a ton of ball gowns, tons of wigs, and this show is just amazing. <laughs> These are just a few of the things that the crew does. They are constantly on the go and always helping the cast. Coming up, you'll get to see a little behind the scenes look at the musical and see how much work actually goes into this production. And now we're going to go to weather and we're just going to let Gabby do this, even though she's not a part of the show, but because she does such a great job heading over to weather. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 43. Tomorrow we will have mixed rain and snow with a high of, 40, of 39. Saturday and Sunday will be mostly sunny with highs of 35 and 53. Monday there will be more clouds than sun with a high of 58. Tuesday and Wednesday will be mostly cloudy with highs of 49 and 40. I'm Gabby with your weather. Spartan Stage, a well-known theater group in the Syracuse area, is to perform Rodgers and Hammerstein's Cinderella this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for its end of winter musical. Mr. Brandon, the director, expresses the week of the show is the most stressful in terms of putting the show together. So the process of the last two weeks of putting together the show is stressful, but it's also really exciting because it's taking all the different components that we... 
groups have been working on individually and putting them all together to create what you see on the stage. A Spartan Stage alum, Ms. Merritt, is taking on the professional role of stage manager this year. She's teaching future seniors the job so they can take over next year. So when I was in high school, I was ESM's first ever stage manager for a musical here. And my role consisted of doing what I'm doing now, where I'm teaching students here that we're learning how to record down all the director's notes that they need in the script. We also call the show. So what that means is that we are the ones making sure all the lights are going on on the same time and making sure everyone knows what they're supposed to be doing at all times. We're mic'd ready to go during the performances and rehearsals. After Spartan Stage's production of Clue on stage earlier this year, Cinderella is sure to have a different mood and effect on the people from murder mystery to fairy tale fiction. The cast and crew are ready to take the stage this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Tickets are $10 at the door or at esmchs.booktix.com. Feel free to email spartanstage at esmschools.org with any more information. NCAA posted their top five Irving Award finalists for the top small forward in college hoops the other day. The list, however, leaves out the NCAA's highest scoring small forward in the league, Elijah Hughes. Many people complain about this, including former Syracuse player and current assistant coach Jerry McNamara. We are all very upset about this. Um, in other news, though, Luka Doncic passed Jason Kidd last night for the most triple doubles in Mavs franchise history. He also became the youngest player in NBA history to post 30 plus points, 15 plus rebounds, and 10 plus assists. He also did this in just 122 games, where Jason Kidd did it in over 500. And I'm John, Wii Sports. So, just another quick announcement. It is time to vote for yearbook dedication. Uh, vote immediately following this segment, and uh, if at the end of your segment, you could prompt them to go to esmyearbook.org. So click on the vote link at the top of the page, log into the Google form with your school email. That there are three nominees chosen by the senior class, but all students, grades 9 through 12, can vote. The winner will be revealed in June at our yearbook assembly when we hand out yearbooks. And so thank you for tuning into our show today about the show. And we'd love it if you could come to see the show today, tomorrow, or Saturday at 7 with a 2 o'clock matinee on Saturday as well. So from Sophie, myself, and everyone here at the morning show, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. <laughs>